Okay, in this video, what I want to do is I want to show how I'm going to add a titty onto the keyboard. Most full-size keyboards have titties, one for the left hand, one for the right hand, to indicate that your finger's in the proper home location, home position. And this is a Red Dragon, it's a gaming half keyboard. It's This is the K585. And you'll notice if you buy one or if you may be able to see in here that there aren't any little titties to indicate if you're on your quote unquote home keys. And I'm using this for Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, and Warzone. And uh, I'm trying to acclimate myself to using a one handed keyboard and using more keys than I normally would over a farther spacing. Uh, some of the keys that they fall into the area where. Normally, my left hand, right hand, sorry, would be coming in and making contact. So I'd like to have a titty on my S key here because um, I'm using the WASD movement keys, the more traditional movement keys. Um, I'm rather old compared to the gaming community, and I grew up with uh, first-person shooters like uh, Wolfenstein 3D and Doom, and everything was on a PC, and um, using a keyboard and mouse was natural, and going, going to console and trying to play with my son um, I'm just not very good with the controller and I really want to use the keyboard and mouse, but I'm finding, I'm finding frustration in losing my home key locations. I'd like to have a titty on that, so that's what I'm going to do because it's my keyboard and that's just the way I want it. So I thought I'd make a video of how to do that. Um, first, uh, the keyboard is actually a really nice piece of equipment. I've, I've been happy with it so far. It even comes with a couple of tools, in case that doesn't show up clearly. This red one is going to be for removing the actual key covers, the key caps. And then there is a metallic one, which is actually designed for removing the actual key switches. And the actual key switches themselves, um, which this is kind of interesting, this is a mechanical keyboard. There are actual switches under here, as opposed to, I mean, we're going back like 25, 30 years in tech here, for Pete's sake. I mean, in the, these days, everything is a soft touch, more like an old calculator keypad with little membrane and little contacts. And you press the little membrane titty down, and that contact covers over a woven interlacing a uh, bit of contacts that otherwise are not touching and this semi, you know, this conductive material is pressed down, makes a connection. Anyway, it makes a soft touch keyboard and now for gaming, we're going back to mechanical keys and this is like I said, this is going back, you know, 25, 30 years in technology. So it's kind of interesting. In any case, that's what the metal device is for. It's for extracting the actual mechanical switches and, and several are included uh, and those are, that's covered in, uh, in other videos and how to remove the, um, in this case, what I want to do is I just want to show you how to take the keycap off and how I'm going to go about making a titty on this. I have done this before on a computer keyboard where I had worn the titties off back when I was a computer programmer, and I like having my little titties on the keyboard, and I just like saying titties. So, red key, uh, the red tool, sorry, onto the key. Uh, I tried a couple of different ways before I actually started filming. I found that it was seemed to work the best to go top to bottom. Uh, theoretically, it should work either way. Uh, what you'll need to do is, and I don't know if this will show up, let me use a little white space here in the background. See how it's got little hooks? Okay, those hooks need to actually go under the edges of the actual keycaps. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this in, and I'm going to let it just spread over the key. There's a click, and it's kind of hard to get that other one to click. I need two clicks. Ah, there we go, second click. Now I'm under the bottom of that key cap or key cover on either on, on the top and the bottom and I'm just gonna pull straight up. There you go. Fairly easily it comes off. The switch is accessible now. This is, this is a new keyboard. I've only had the keyboard for a little over a week so um, I'm not messing with the actual switch. Now what I need to do is I want a titty on this. Now the way I'm gonna try to get a titty on this and I've done this before and this is some, oops, sorry. And this is some Southern engineering at its finest right here. This happens to be a spray straw from some aerosol product. I don't know which product over there. Usually they're red. Um, I just happened to find it on one of the aerosol cans over there. I don't remember. I think it was uh, some lubricant, whatever. It doesn't, doesn't matter to me. This is what I've done. Uh, it's a semi-rigid plastic tube. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole in the face of this key that this tube will just fit into. The first thing that I did, and I could have done this more scientifically, I could have gotten out the, uh, the, the, uh, the micrometer, I could have measured the diameter of this, I've got a rather extensive set of drill bits and I could have found the one that was just the right size. I really wanted this to be accessible for most everybody and most people don't have a 
uh, micrometer just laying around and they don't have a, an extensive set of bits, you know, the, the, the larger set that I have is still inexpensive, horrible freight stuff, but still it's 115 pieces and I'm working out of that. Okay. And I didn't feel like driving out to the other location, the other place and getting that. So I'm just like, screw it. I'm just going to do this. Let's see what happens. Well, the 564th, which you may be able to tell is missing here, is actually chucked up in the drill because it works. So what I did is I have an old uh, hotel access key here, and you may notice that there are two holes in that access key. And the first one was the first bit that I thought, I think that might be the right size. I drilled the hole through the, through the access key and a uh, card here, and I, I test it, and it fits. And it's a, it's a tight fit, but this is a hollow tube, and it's made out of a... Uh, semi-rigid, semi-flexible plastic. It's easy to shove through the hole easy enough. I don't want to be, I don't want to fall through. I tried the next step up. It's only a 64th of an inch larger. I tried the next step up and oops, well, see it's too big. So now what I'm going to do, <coughs> live action folks, <coughs> no stunt doubles are used here. I'm going to drill a hole in my key. So I'm going to scoot this out of the way. So if I screw this up, Y'all will get to see this firsthand. Uh, let me show you the bottom of the key here first. Notice that the, the letter is at the top of the key. Let's see if I can get that to show fairly well. The letter is at the top of the key. Um, where I want the titty is probably down here at the bottom. I'd like to feel it under the bottom of my finger, my fingertip. The problem is that if I flip this over, you'll notice that the circular area in the center, which actually then mounts onto the plus symbol looking center part of that is kind of offset to the bottom. That doesn't give me a lot of real estate to poke that hole into without damaging that post. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go very close to the bottom of this key with the drill. Just about like that looks pretty good. Nice and slow. I'm just guessing it left to right center. It's not that big a deal. I'm really not too worried about it. I'm going to drill slowly. There we go. Okay, it's a little off center. That's not entirely a huge surprise. And there we go. Now I've got a nice little hole there. Now, what I'm going to do on this is I'm going to shove this through. Um, I was thinking and debating about how I was going to do this um, because I want this... Um, it took like a week or something to get this darn thing, this keyboard. I really don't want to jack this up and make it, make it awful. I'd kind of like to be able to start using it here in just a few minutes. I was in there playing uh, Warzone, and I'm like, I'm tired of this nonsense. I'm going to go out into the garage, and I'm going to do this. And I'm going to shoot a video just in case it might help somebody else. I want to get back to playing Warzone. Thank you very much. So uh, I want to get this done as quickly as possible. I would like to say here at this point what you could do, depending upon... Uh, Oh, I don't know, your, your sense of touch and feel. Just having the hole alone may be enough for you. Uh, you could drill a slightly larger hole. Notice I have just barely missed the post on the back side there. Okay, you see the light coming through right there. Okay, Just barely missed it. It's got to be near the bottom. I could have been a little bit more centered up. I wished it was, but whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and put this straw in. Some of you with uh, oh, more sensitive touch might not require the straw. I want the little titty sticking up. I think probably the most effective way to do this, and this is what I'm going to do here. I don't remember what I did on the keyboard. It's been many years since I did it. I'm going to shove the straw through from the top side, and then I'm going to trim it off to the top to the height that I'd like to have it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this, and I'm going to just twist that into that hole until it just protrudes on the inside. I can't really tell if that's... Forgive me while I make sure. Yes, very good. I had to get a set of magnifying glasses because my eyesight isn't what it once was. This whole getting old stuff really sucks, by the way, just in case you're wondering. Okay, there we go. I'm happy with that. I am far enough into the actual key material. I can't really twist or push it much any farther, but it's also not so far into it that it should impede uh, seating into this little channel on the side right here. Okay. And I can even test it if I'd like. I brought one of these extra keys to do so. And I can push that in. Oh, awesome. That's a hell of a titty right there. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull that off because it's not actually on the keyboard, it's easy for me to grab the switch and just pop it back off. Now what I'm going to do here is I happen to have two hotel key cards. Technically, if you wanna be picky, I have four. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna elevate this up. Let me put that out there where you can see that better. What that's gonna do is it's gonna give me the ability then to come along with um, my cocaine knife. Oh, I'm sorry, um, my X-Acto knife and I'm gonna cut that off. Um, and it gives me some support, so I don't have to worry about, because if I do it out of here over the flat spots, it's going to flex like this, and I'm liable to actually wind up extricating or pulling out that tube from the key. So screw that nonsense. I'm gonna back this up. Um, if you don't happen to have junky keys from hotels laying around, you can use a notepad. Okay, so there's a notepad. Put that up there like that. And again, what this is doing, this is just giving me basically a cutting block to work with. Now I'm gonna have to turn this a little bit where it's not gonna be ideal for y'all to see, but I can see about how much of that I would like to have protruding. And I don't want a whole lot. And as you can see, I've got plenty of straw left. Okay, and voila. And I hope that, that I can get that to show up clearly. There we go, let's try that. Now my S key has a titty, okay? And I don't think that that's gonna be enough to impede or interfere with how I use it in gameplay. I think that's gonna work just fine. If I don't like it, I can always come along then and I can very carefully, you know, take a sharp knife blade like this and I can work that off. Um, if you wanted to be super hyper picky about how it looked and whatever, um, you could take some fine sandpaper and try to get rid of that little bit of white flashing where it was, the plastic was cut in strength. Who cares? supposed to be mashing on it, not looking at it. And there you go. Now I'm gonna drop that back into the keyboard. And now if I get off keys, I can always find, come back, put my middle finger on the S key, and I've got a home key, I've got a titty on my home key, if you will. Anyway, hope that helps somebody. Um, I don't have anything else to say. It is, it's a nice keyboard. I like playing with it. I like the keyboard and mouse far better, but that's what, that's because that's what I grew up with. I know a young man who plays with a controller who whips my ass on a routine basis using nothing but a controller and an aimbot. Um, he'll get a chuckle out of that when he watches this. Y'all have a great day. Thanks.